This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now at uh, Circle K Ionity Dahl, and today we're going to do range test of this Mercedes EQB. It's a seven-seater. It's quite boxy compared to the EQA. Or, well, I'm, I'm going to show you here. Well, actually, we have to look in the back here. So I haven't uh, taken up the seats, but we do in fact have seven seats here. So it's a boxy car. How is it going to do it? Let me just show you. Reminds me of the, the taxis in London. Uh, okay, so today it's a bit uh, busy on the roads. We have winter holidays, lots of traffic. I was going to do 120 test. I think I have to give up that. And also, as I mean, fire up the car. Uh, so we will just drive north now, all the way to Rudshagda, doing 90 test first, because, huh, what? Charger cable connected. Well, I am aware of that. <laughs> um, and then we go back again. I have to do the, the distance measurement first, and hopefully we can do the high speed test afterwards. So it's not too relevant how much battery we have now. And also I don't need to measure the whole battery because I know the capacity of the battery. And at least Mercedes, they don't change anything. If they release a car three years ago, then the, all the mechanics are still the same. So I'll be driving in, um, let me show you here. Uh, I will use comfort mode, not eco mode because it will, uh, it will make me freeze. So use comfort mode, reset everything, and then off we go. Well, we are on the move, and uh, yes, you guys see it. The left lane the Huggers Club is out already. Plenty of them. There was so many left lane Huggers. On the way here, it was super annoying. These guys, they don't know what lane discipline is. They just, well, actually, some of these guys do. Okay, cool, those are Tesla owners, all right, all right. So we have to cruise at 93 kilometers per hour to match 90 GPS speed. And uh, I think, yeah, yeah we, we need to weigh the car. Oh yeah, we need to, uh, I don't want to know. I want to know how heavy this car is. It's a German electro auto. It's got to be heavy and it feels quiet also. So it, it needs to be heavy. Let me see, will the Porsche move out of the way? Uh, nine, nine. Porsche needs no uh, uh, lane discipline. What about the BMW? Does he know about lane discipline? Uh, 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 wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. No. What about Mercedes-Benz? Will you know about lane discipline? Uh, nine! Nine, 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 nine! What about Audi? Audi? Oh, Audi knows lane discipline. Yeah, yeah, let's go, yeah. Um, the sun is behind us now. Well, on the, on the right side, slightly behind us. And then suddenly, this is shining in my face now. What the heck is this shit? What's up with chrome and this reflective stuff they put in uh, electro autos nowadays? Look at this. What? The if I would buy this car, the first thing I will do is just chrome delete it or uh, wrap it in something. Just go to Manta's wrap, get it wrapped. Yeah. Also on the side here. Fortunately, we don't have any diamonds in this car. It's not that expensive. <laughs> All right. Front axle. 1, 120. The whole car. 2, 280. Okay. Weighs less than a BMW i4. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Okay, how is Mjösen doing today? Oh, it's hanging. Oh, almost no wind. Perfect driving conditions. And also, you see, minus 0.5 degrees Celsius outside. So, dry road, uh, not too cold, not windy. This should be good, right? Uh, what was the consumption? 181 watt hour per kilometer. Uh, okay, okay, that's not too bad, okay, but we have some uh, downhill. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to see now. All the way to uh, Rudshagda. Right, I just turn around at the route uh, This car seems to be over reporting distance a little bit. Over here, it's minus three degrees Celsius. Uh, okay, so it's uh, not too cold, but also not uh, that warm. But it's a typical winter, at least. 
And you see, in case you haven't seen it before, this car has um, a permanent magnet rear motor and uh, an induction front motor. So you can uh, totally disengage the induction motor in the front without any resistance. So for the most part, it's actually using the, the less powerful uh, rear motor for uh, just driving forward. Also, let me see if I, but if I hammer it a little bit or need more power, then the front kicks in, see? But uh, by doing this, it will try to be as efficient as possible. Okay, let's do a little sound test. The sun is in my face, but that's fine. So here's uncompressed wave file in here from a USB stick. Ooh. Okay, you see, this car does not have the Burmester. I'm not actually not sure what kind of speakers it has, but how to explain that? The bass is actually quite uh, present here. A little bit, um, okay, I, it's a bit boomy. And also the, the, the clarity here is nowhere near the high-end systems. Well, this is a 600,000 look car still, but uh, stereo. I mean, okay, it, it sounds okay. Yeah, it's just average. I'm not sure how many points I would give it. And yes, I, no, no, I mean, no. I will not do any dog uh, score like that. Uh, I don't uh, feel like doing it. We are back at Dahl charging up. So uh, yes, um, the distance I recorded here was 183.3 uh, kilometers. It's supposed to be 182, but that's at the roundabout roughly. So I calculated that we have roughly half percent error. I think that is so low that I wouldn't even care about it. But okay, so now we're going to do the 120 test, but I think I will wait a little bit. I'm going to do some other videos in between now, and then we do the 120 test when we have slightly less traffic. But we can't wait too long because then it will be colder. We are now at Shell Nebenes. I ended up here doing a little test and just waiting out for uh, for the traffic to calm down. Uh, hopefully it's okay now. It's seven. Uh, it's uh, uh, five thirty in the afternoon, so we're gonna go for it. Just gonna wait a little bit for the car to cool down the battery and then we'll go for it, 120 test. We're on the move now, I have to cruise 124 on the speedo to match 120. And uh, yeah, interesting, the rear motor is in use right now, it doesn't need to use all-wheel drive just to uh, go at these speeds even. So you see there's still some traffic, but uh, hopefully they will stay in the right lane. There's a Dane by the way, I've seen lots of Danes today. And the road is still dry, and let me check uh, wind over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, the windsock is still hanging, so still very little wind. Driving conditions are quite similar, except for that now it's minus 3 degrees Celsius. Yeah, minus 2.5. So slightly worse uh, temperature than at least for the high-speed run. We are back at the starting point. So this time the consumption was 275 watt hour per kilometer, which is about the same as the BMW i4. <laughs> okay, for you guys who don't know, the i4 is a fairly small and compact sedan. And this is a brick. How the heck can the brick have the same efficiency as a small sedan? Who knows? Ask the Germans. So anyway, now you guys see everything here. So. Uh, the range on this EQB is actually quite similar to the EQA. Both of these are the, the 350 version, the all-wheel drive. And yeah, it seems like if you want extra space and you want to go for an EQB, then why not? Uh, you know, I remember I was complaining about what was the point of the EQA 350 because it was uh, almost as expensive as more, many other cars in the same class, many brands, or almost as expensive as the EQC, so it didn't make any sense. But at least the EQ, uh, EQB makes sense because we have a seven-seater, we have more space, we have a brick here finally for people who want to drive around with bricks. So then you still get okay range, okay efficiency compared to BMW. Uh, and yeah, but then 
I'm not sure what I should compare this against because I think it's not fair to compare it against the new ES8 because that's a way bigger car, even though it's a seven-seater. Model X is also a way bigger car. But yes, now you guys know at least what this car is capable of. So that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.